open. So I've got our responses here. So all of the statistics that you need are all under the stat and summary statistics. So you can just go to columns and say I want to do the hours worked, which was question six. You can do mean, variance, uh, standard deviation, um, we got min, max, quartiles, you can do interquartile range. If you hold down the control key, it won't, you won't lose the other ones. Um, you can do, oh yeah, not a lot of these other ones. Um, the unadjusted you want to avoid, that assumes it's a population. So StatCrunch assumes it's a statistic and does the n minus 1. Um, percentiles, you can do the 35th percentile, add that here. Um, so I think that's it. And if you do compute, then it spits you out all of these results here. Oh, a comment about rounding. Uh, generally, you round to one more than the data. That's our general rounding. If you need to round, you round to one more than the data. So this was hours worked, so we would round to 22.4. 22.4. Uh, and then graphs, box plots, they're right here. Pretty easy. So graph, box plot and you can do Q6, and you want to make sure to use fences to identify outliers. I like to draw it horizontally. You can add the mean and median if you want. You don't need to. You can label it if you want to, and if we hit compute, um, the mean and median actually makes it look kind of silly, but there's the graph. So no outliers on this one. Um, by the way, in on a test, if I ask you to find the fences, they're not here. You're going to have to still calculate them yourself. You still have to understand how they work. Okay, pretty long video, uh, but hopefully you were able to get lots of good information there, understand some of these basic statistics, and also to um, get a couple of uh, new graphs here where we have these um, the, the new box plot that we learned.